Hi everyone, welcome back to the What Am I series of Diagnose Quiz. And in this series of videos, as you all know, I'll be giving you five clues about a disorder, a pathway or an enzyme or a phenomenon or even a technique. All that you're expected to do is you should give out the right answer after clue number two is displayed. At this point, if your answer happens to be right, you get 20 points. If you need three clues to give the right answer, you get 15 points. Four clues, you get 10 points. And even if you use all the five clues to give out the right answer, you get five points. So do not forget to subscribe to this channel and to click the bell icon to receive notifications when we upload these videos. Because all these videos are based on facts and concepts which are often asked in INACT or NEET PG or FMG. So clue number one for this question is, I am a phenomenon. Clue number two, I am a feature of primary hyperaldosteronism or Korn syndrome. So based on these two clues, if you know the right answer, start typing your right answer in the chat box below and you can give yourself 20 points. Okay. Clue number three is I am not a feature of secondary hyperaldosteronism. Clue number four, I am mediated by atrial natriuretic peptide. Clue number five, I am the reason why edema is not a feature of primary hyperaldosteronism. So if you know the right answer, type the right answer in the chat box and also type the score that you have obtained. And as you all said, yes, this is escape phenomenon. So what is escape phenomenon? This explains why edema is not a feature of primary hyperaldosteronism or Korn syndrome. Because in Korn syndrome, when there is primary hyperaldosteronism, there is sodium and water reabsorption. Water reabsorption should have caused edema, but edema is never a feature. Reason is when there is water reabsorption, there is an increase in the intravascular volume and that causes atrial stretch. Atrial stretch receptors release atrial natriuretic peptide that cause diuresis. And this is never a feature of secondary hyperaldosteronism wherein the cause primarily is a decrease in the intravascular volume. I hope it's clear and interesting. So uh, wait until I come back with another video with a similar set of uh, clues and an interesting pathway or an enzyme or a disorder. Thank you.